Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to combine some images and just kind of take it a level up from the previous example that I did. So I'm going to open up GIMP and open up two images, uh, Big Ben, which is the Tower of London, and use that one. And we're also going to open up an image of Barack Obama standing in front of the Capitol building. And we can t cut him out of that image and have it look like he's standing in front of Big Ben. Okay, these Both of these images are available uh, in Google Images. That's where I got them from. Now let's just um, use our tool we're going to make this happen with, and that is on your toolbox. Go over to the Free Select tool. And I'm just going to cut him out with that. Now this may not go perfectly the first time you do it, and you may have to redo this step several times to get it just like you want it. I'm going to do a rough cut today. I just want to basically show you the process. I'm going to start at the bottom edge of his coat jacket and just weave on around, trying to stay as close to the edge as I can. I'm going to go up his face, around his ear, and let my hand catch up to me here, and then around the head. Like I said, it may not be perfect but we'll get the idea across around the other ear, around the jaw, down the neck, uh, down the jacket, down the arm. And it's important that you make a complete path here, all the way back to your beginning and stop. Okay. And I should have probably gone closer to the bottom, because you always look for an image that uh, hugs the bottom of what you're cutting. And next I'm going to um, select Edit and I'm going to select Copy Visible. Alright, so it's going to copy what it is that I drew my mouse around. Now I'm going to go back to the Big Ben image. Let me bring it back over. And I'm going to select Edit and then Paste. Now he'll land, but he won't land in the proper place, of course. So we're going to hit, uh, we can select move and move him to the proper place. I'm going to set him down here next to the base of the image. And I may rescale him some, make him a little bigger there. Now your scale tool is on your toolbox. And your scale tool is this particular tool and it says scale tool when you drive over it with your mouse and with the scale tool you can go into the I would pull from the corner to keep it in proportion and I would probably make this just a little bit bigger it's up to you as long as the perspective looks correct Like he's just standing in front of it, so and and also I might want to finish scaling, and I might need to move him over a little bit too. Um, and we'll scale now with the scale tool. Uh, it is you can adjust it, but I typically just hit scale when I'm done with it. Okay, and if I want to move, let me see if I can't just move him over just a bit. It's okay there, but I would like it better moved over. Just to where his shoulder is more showing more of that tower behind the shoulder. Okay, so I'm going to let go there. And I'm kind of happy with that one. When you're happy with the result, you can obviously select the scale button and then click outside of marching ants to make them disappear. Okay, so we'll go out here and click. Now, as you can see, I did brush this, and I did get some um, er errors over this way. But you know, if I took my time, yeah, I could have gotten it exactly on there. Okay, and as you can see, we have just one image in our layer, so there's no combining layers here. And you just save this for the new result. Okay, thank you for your time.